guys, welcome to another episode of On The Bank Angling. It's been a little while since I've uh, last posted a video, but I've been busy really, to be honest. I've been working a lot, I've not had a lot of time for fishing, and um, and it's been hard to get out on the bank. So it's actually quite nice to come out and do a bit of recording, get the rods out and hopefully catch a few fish. Um, I've come down to Abrook Pond, which is on the extra ticket, and the fish are moving about quite nicely. I, I've seen a lot of fish move about. There's been two come out in the time that I've walked around. I mean, I've been here all afternoon and I've only just got the rods out. But um, I was just fish moving about. I'm confident for a bite. So I thought I'd record it and, um, and make a little video because it's been a while. So fingers crossed I can have a couple. And if I do, um, I'll be sure to show them with you. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Well guys, um Nice little spirited fight there on the chod rig of all things. I'd never use them, it's Chris's favourite rig. But um, I very, very rarely use a chod rig. But on a little boosted uh, pop up, had this cracking, corking oh, mirror here. 14 pounds on the nose. Um, absolutely buzzing. Smashing job. And uh, like I say, the rig's only been in the water a couple of hours. So. Plenty of time for another couple yet, but we'll get some quick pickies of this one and then we'll uh, slip it back. It's nice, I actually really like that fish. <laughs> Um, I did set my alarm for 6 o'clock in the morning, but I literally got woken up just as my alarm was going off, which was quite cool, by this fish. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any of the fight. Um, it's been a really quiet night, but I've just been woken up by this beautiful, beautiful mirror. It's just... Uh... Ooh, absolutely cracking it is, and it's... Spring colours, really good condition. Oh. Look at that. Absolute corker. Probably about 12 pounds, in fact I will weigh it in a minute. But um yeah, absolutely smashing. Just some of the fish in here, they're not huge in Abrook, but they're absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And um, after a real quiet night and a real good night's sleep, this is a really good way to start the day, I think. So, um, again, on the gooed up uh, chod rig, um, with a krill on there, with, uh, with squid goo. I'm gonna get some photographs of this bad boy, and get that rod back out on that spot. And I'm gonna actually move my other rod because it's not done anything and, um, and I've just seen a fish roll like the far side of the island, so I'm just gonna go and put, some, put, a, put a rod over there and a few baits, and we'll go from there. So, uh, awesome. Absolutely brilliant.
So that's both rods back out on the spot. Let's see if we can have another one. Okay guys, so uh, as you can see, it's absolutely hammering down with rain. It's about eight o'clock now. Yeah, literally eight o'clock. Um, just got everything set up, got everything back right. And, uh, and I just sort of run you through the baits that I'm using while I'm here. Now I've, I've took a boily approach because it's spring and, um, and spring the fish are generally having, they're up for a good feed because they're about to spawn. They, they spawn sort of May time, sometimes early May but with the winter that we've had probably late May. Um, so they like a good nutritious food so that they can get as much mass of eggs or, or milt inside them before they come to spawn so for that reason boilies are great because they're full of all the goodness that they need now on one rod I've got a chod and on that chod I've got a sticky krill pop-up um, the sticky krill pop-up has been heavily glugged for a long time in a cord of smoky squid goo and they've, they've probably been soaking for about six months and yeah they're they absolutely honk um, but yeah that's what I've had both fish on so far um, the other rig is as you saw a, a basic sort of just not snot with a little bit of blowback tubing um, it's got a boilie on it uh, a bottom bait and it's got a piece of floating corn just to give it a little bit of buoyancy um, the boilie that's on that is a, an urban bait red spicy fish and that's in a 15 mil. Trimmed it down a bit because the hook's a bit small, um, just to give it that sort of bit of separation and make it look a bit more presentable. Um, in my opinion, I feel I'll get a better bite that way. You know, the hook hold will be more secure. It's less chance of the, the hook missing the mouth as the fish takes it and then ejects it. So guys, I'm in again. Literally just finished doing a bit of recording and editing, and um, this one felt a good fish to start with. I don't know if it is, but it certainly felt heavy and it's lunking. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a better fish. But we don't know yet. It's, it might not be. <laughs> so that's taken on the gravel spot. So ideal. Well guys, awesome little fight there. I've just had a, a another mirror actually. I'm surprised I haven't had a common really. But very similar size to the other one, maybe a bit smaller. Nice little low double mirror, absolutely smashing. I don't know if I'm gonna bother with a uh, camera photos for this one. Um, I might, yeah, sod it, I'm gonna. Um, but yeah, absolutely pucker, can't complain at all. So guys, um, the gravel spot's starting to produce now. This is the second on the uh, on the urban baits with the uh, little bit of uh, sort of plastic sweet corn on there. Uh, 16 pound on the nose. <coughs> Lovely common. 
blind in one eye, which is quite interesting, I think. Um, but I lost a better fish, and I'm really gutted about that. But yeah, it's not not it's, it's you know it's going to be a good uh, session. This is definitely so. I'm going to get some photos and then get it back. <laughs> Um, it's 20 to 3, 20 to 4 now, and I've just had this lovely fish here. All the fish have been coming on the bottom bait today. After that, chop one first thing. Beautiful mirror here. 14 and a half pounds on the nose. Absolutely smashing. Lovely scaly mirror. Fish number five. Get in. Taking on uh, the urban baits again. So, uh, seems to be doing quite well there. Smash in. So it's been a couple of hours since that last fish and I've had a really good session here at Abrook. This has got to be one of the better sessions I've had in the last couple of years to be honest. And it's great that I managed, you know, I decided to start recording at the start and actually made something of it. Um, because the last time I had a decent session here, I didn't record anything and that really annoyed me um, but I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video uh, I'm just gonna slowly pack down now um, and yeah if you enjoyed this video then if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and give a video a like because it will help it get you know shown on YouTube the the analytics the way that it works now the more likes and the more views I've had the more my video video gets around so if you could give it a good like and a share or you know a like and a subscribe that would be perfect thank you very much and have yourself a good one tight lines